All right, this week's IMPI is brought to you by the letter C and K. Well, it's C and K. C and, K. and uh, DigiKey and Adafruit team up, and we show you all the cool new products. DigiKey.com, what is it this week? Okay, so I didn't realize we actually did C and K like a month ago, but uh, I really like this NPI. And here's another thing, because C and K makes a lot of mechatronic things, like, like non-silicon. It's not affected by the silicon shortage, which means it's in stock. And I like to only, uh, if, if I possible, only show off um, things that are in stock for INMPI so you can go and purchase them immediately. Um, so this week's INMPI is the MPSR03. These are rugged um, magnetic read uh, sensor switches from CNK. Um, this is kind of a simple thing. It's like, it's a magnetic read switch. Or people are probably like, you sell these. What's the big deal with these? But these are like, like, Cadillac of magnetic read sensor switches. These are like so good. Um, so uh, here's the specs. They're good for like 5 million contact switches or something ridiculous. Um, sorry, 2 million uh, contact uh, sw operations. They're IP69, which is super nice. Um, they are SPDT, so you get both no normally open and normally closed. Um, they're easy to install. They're basically like um, the magnetic read switches that you know and love, you know, one side has a, a you know, a, a magnetic uh, element, that's the part on the right, that's the magnet, on the left there's a little read switch, it's a, um, a sensor that closes when a sensor, the magnet gets close. Um, and we sell these in the shop and they're sold also, you know, on DigiKey for a couple bucks. Um, and, and these are fine for indoor maker projects, but one of the things that we definitely see a lot is, um, you know, makers are like, I want to build a thing and they get a sensor from Adafruit, and we have a lot, you know, our stuff is low cost and designed to make it really easy for people to get started, but then they actually have to like, go to Burning Man and install it, or make a robot and install it, or they're like, they do it as a job and it's going into, um, you know, an industrial space or a space with a lot of people. Um, over the weekend, we um, bumped into a friend and, uh, you know, their partner worked as a exhibit uh, designer and fabricator yeah. at the Museum of Science um, in Boston and it reminded me that like there's actually nothing that needs to be more rugged than museum exhibits because uh, not only do they have to last for 10 years um, but they have to be you know basically used and abused by uh, young children and and you know teenagers and kids and their parents um, just like breaking stuff and pulling on stuff and that's where um, sensors like this would be really handy. You know, you're never going to get a sensor like this to survive anyone who actually is no. trying to break it for like more than like five seconds. Um, but the rugged one, you know, it's rugged. And so you're going to pay a lot more. Um, but I do want to, you know, and, and people come to us and they're like, why doesn't this $4 switch last forever outside? It's not what it's designed for. If you're no. going to build stuff for outside, for rugged use, for dusty environments, for wet environments, you need to spend more but you're gonna be so happy. And so when I got this sensor, cause I ordered this as a sample. Um, uh, yeah. And it's it's like, it's really nice. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no, that's like, if, if, if you said, okay, you know, from five to, like, feet away, like what is this? I'd be like, I don't know, it's something pretty industrial. It's a, like, like a weapon. This always looks like, you know, the conduit for, uh, Electrical work. Electrical yeah, work so it's flexible. Like yeah, or it looks like it's like the tail from one of the squiddies in the Matrix. Yes, it's just probably what they you know use. So I don't remember. I know it, when it's it's gooseneck when you can manipulate it. This is flexible, so it's it's quite flexible. You can move it around, but of course, um, you know it's it's solid metal and it's it's a little springy too. Um, it's you know waterproof, and then inside um, there's the three wires, and this is just like this massive switch and this massive magnet that goes with it. Um, so yeah, it's like 40 bucks, but um, this is going to last until the end of time. Like this is nearly indestructible. Um, so prototype your project with one of these, you know, you can get these at DigiKey for $4, um, they work fine. Uh, the idea is the same, you know, this switch closes, and this one of course has uh, open and close. But then when you want to install it, please, please, please don't don't use this like soft kitten like sensor, which is which is really needs to be treated quite nicely. No, not the um, kitten sensor. You want the lion. You want like the the Godzilla of uh, magnetic read sensors, and so right. um, this is really really fun. It's like potted. Uh, it's epoxy. It's rated. Solid. 
Yeah, if you if you if this hit you in the face, you'd be unhappy. It's like Di yeah, it, the, yeah. This it's is. Like, it's it's potted metal with an epoxy. That's a unit inside. Um, so it'll survive anything. So uh, yeah, this is what we recommend. So so please please please, um, when you make stuff, whether it's for a museum exhibit, your Burning Man project, your robot. Step it up, get the right thing, get the right yeah. sensor. You will be really, really happy. You might be like, but it's more expensive. Uh -huh. Yeah, but how much is your time worth? Do you want to have to go and have to repair it every year? Or do you want something that's just going to last for 10, 20, 30 years? Oh. All right, available Boom. on DigiKey. Uh, go get it. And. Uh, yeah, it's rad. Yeah. I mean, this is Check just. Check it like out. A, this is like a beast. Like All a, right. It's like a weapon, too. And All that, right. that's this week's Iron Appealing. Hi, I'm Empiano.